Well, today's little escapade is to the Corridy. Private ownership. It's up a salty will. Little track down opposite the dam road. It's the main road into it. TT week has finished for another year. <coughs> well, a man goes back to his normal sleepy self. Should we go this way? <sighs> Middle of June. It's been nearly four weeks since we had any rain. Boxy, here. Glass is starting to burn, I'm afraid. This is nice. I wish I'd have brought a putty now. Yeah, we'll have lunch later. No, I mean here. Yes. <coughs> now, Carla always likes to bring that putty with us when we come out. Today. No. What the Cardi mean, Carla? Can you remember? Cardi. What was his name? What Penny. Was his no. Meaning? Penny, leave it. Cardi's original name was Coroni. All right. Yep. Um. A corruption of Kieran. An early Christian saint, I don't think I've said that right, Kieran. Kieran, well, somebody will tell us, I'm sure. Kieran or something oh, like that. Because there's a keel and a well on this farm, isn't it? Yeah. Quite a lot of buildings, aren't there? Well, used to be, anyway. I don't know why I've never seen this bit. Oh, maybe I have, but I was so keen on going over there, which is uh, Craigans, isn't That's it? Craigans, that yeah. yeah. A lot of people just go past this when they yeah. go over it. <coughs> it's not as hot as I thought it was going to be. I think I've underdressed. <laughs> so this looks like um, possibly the kiln. Don't know. Mm, not sure either. I'd, I'd say it's still that over there because it's right next to the mill. I would as well. I would say you're right. This, yeah. I don't know what. This is maybe just a shelter for somebody who wants to help them. Don't know. It's a long way to it from the house to be the toilet. It is. Yeah. Speak. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's usually taking stuff off more than putting it on, isn't it? Oh! One of the original gate posts. Hole in it. Is that the, uh, is that the keel over there? Or yeah, it will there? be. We'll do that later. Yeah. So, first thing we come across when you come up here is, uh, believe it or not, a horse mill. And from what I've managed to establish over the years, most of these horse mills had two horses. And uh, you can just see in this one the cogs. It's quite a modernish one compared to some of the others. It's got like a ratchet system, so if the mill jammed or the horse has stopped, the actual uh, bar that they attached to the horse didn't jam into their legs. Difficult to believe this farm was only 40 acres and it had its own horse mill. Ooh. When were the. Do you have any idea? Did you ever find out when the walls were built around here, Carla, in this place? Uh, 1808. Hold on. 1800. So these walls have been here since 1800. Yeah, the farmer at that time was Caesar Gelling. All right. right. All so right. yeah. And it, do we know how long the house has not been on it? Because it looks like it's all 
house was beyond repair in 1808. Oh, right. That's 40 acres. So all those walls have been up here over 200 years. It's that amazing without any cement whatsoever. Those Can dates I... don't seem to make sense to me. No, they don't to me, but... Because then it says uh, 1887, uh, Crystals was told by John Quayle to, um, what was it, a state to have the farm sale or something? Yeah, but it wouldn't necessarily have a house at that time. It would just right. be the guy who farmed it, really. Oh, the bloody sheep are turning up. That's all right. <laughs> Lucky with us, our dogs don't understand sheep world. Well, they don't bother with them, is what we mean. And this little barn, this little shed here, would have been the thrashing barn. Because you can just make out some of the workings there. See it? Mm. That's the common little window. Yeah. Stay there, my lovely. Stay there, my lovely. Well, you. All right. So you can see where we were before. You're hard at it. I'm hard at it. Work. Shut up. Uh, <coughs> as I was saying, this uh, mill, the axle went underground, came into the shed, and this would be some of the gearings for the main part of the thrashing system. There's an actually a complete thrashing mill in the Groves Museum. Also in this farm, Carl, at one time, there's a corn drying mill, or corn yeah. drying kiln. So we'll have to try and establish which, which little shed that was, I think. The kilns for drying grain were common on the up, upland farms in the Isle of Man, apparently. Really? Yep. Ow! Been pricked. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Nettles. Yeah, I've had a few stings as well as mine. Not exactly dressed for it, am I? Oh, I think you're dressed, overdressed personally. <laughs> oh, oh look, there's a little man. Yep. Ha! Let's have a chat with a little man. He's one of the original inhabitants. Oh, lovely. So is that John Quayle? It's a good, good likeness, I would think. <laughs> hey, look! That brings up to the next story. That's look, a, the that's, ship. That's the story. Tell so, us the story, then. So apparently there were four brothers, the Quails, and they were shipwrecked, and they came up here as far away from the sea as possible. And... So, it's said, not one of them turned into a sailor after that. Yeah, they vowed that if they ever survived the shipwreck, they'd get as far away from the sea as they could. Yeah, that's very interesting, that, so isn't it? So they ended up here in, in uh, when was it, 1953? A fella called McGill arranged some sort of coach party up here. Yeah. And um, on Quail the, was on that. On the coach, yeah. there was a fella called Quail, and he said he was the last, or one of the last people to quails up here was farming the Quaggins at that time. There's a load of little buildings on this place. Well in 1890 Cowleys took over apparently. Yeah, yeah they, they were part of this world for a long time. Mm -hmm. They're also up on them um, on the Close Farm and also on um, Cramag. Yeah, these are all outhouses really aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Is there an actual house? Yep. Oh look, peg trees. Go hey! On, I found the dog house. You need to get in there. <laughs> I spent most of my life in a bloody dog house. Oh yeah. Now we're engaged. Oh yeah, folks. Welcome to I, your new room. I forgot to tell you, we have made the ultimate sacrifice to uh, being on our own. We got engaged over TT week. Senior, Senior race, race day, day, actually. It's quite a poignant day for Carla, so we decided to go for it. Who's we, pale face? Actually, what happened is she had five cans of lager. <laughs> and I just took advantage of the moment, and she said, yeah. I think I, I slurred something, like, put me to bed. For, Leave me alone. For the last week, she said to me, 
I never did say that. <laughs> so we started our world out here. Oh, uh, here's the house. A year ago. You got any pictures of this while it was still standing? How old do you think I am? Ancient. Yeah, but you've been trekking up these hills for about 70 years, haven't you? Well, from what I've read, this house was um, unusable in 1800, so no. Right. What I don't get is the dates after it, though. It just doesn't make sense where the Cowleys took it over. Well, they took the land over for 40 years. Oh, so they didn't do nothing with the buildings, I don't think right. so, no. I mean, this house does look like it's been abandoned an awful long time ago. Yeah. Tell us about the uh, fireplace in this, Carla. Oh. What can you remember? I can't. Just in the distance there, I can see the well. I know you can. Well, well. I'm like a kid in a sweet shop when I come up to these places. I want to go there now. You always tell me, I've been there. <laughs> I want to take you there. You say, oh, I didn't see that. Wattle and Daub canopy. To do with the fireplace. Yeah, yeah. 1938, that's what was here. Well, 1938, you see? No, so. they weren't talking about it. It wasn't here in 1938. They were discussing it when they came up to visit it. Oh. And um, this one here had a, what they call a willow and daub fireplace. Can't decide which end of the fire the house it would be on. Maybe this side, maybe the other side. I'd say this side. Yeah, you're probably right. What it was is they used willow as a canopy and then they daubed it in wood to make it fireproof, I guess. But this one here was actually totally made of wood. It's quite amazing to think you put a wood above a fire, but hey ho, it seemed to work for them. What sort of tree do you think there is? A beech tree. I don't know. It's not. Yeah, maybe it's an oak tree, I don't know. I think it's a wooden one. A wood tree? Yeah. See what I'm up against, folks. <laughs> this is what I get all the time. What happened to the wooden car? The what? <laughs> the wooden car. What wooden car? It wouldn't go. <laughs> 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 oh, I thought you'd have known that one. You're, you're good for bad jokes. God. And they rethink my future. Ah, oh, lovely. I haven't seen nothing of a kiln yet. No. No, it's supposed to have a, as I said, a corn drying kiln here somewhere. And we don't know, I don't know which one it would be. Oh, look! I think this is the sharpening you. Well, so now I've, I've not seen that. Why oh, don't you sharpen yours? I sharpen my tool regularly. Do you? Okay. Stop it. Come on, tell us about that. what happens there then. Well, here you'd have a big stone that goes round. Balancing on that, would you call that an axle, is it? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Balancing on that and spinning and then you'd sharpen your... Well, what, what do they cut things with? Well, you'd be your spade, your scythe, your Scythe, sickle. that's what I was thinking about. Because... Uh, I was going to say machete, but... Well, they may have had one, but this this would be such an important thing. Why do you think it was out here, outside of a building? Why isn't it in a building or somewhere? Why? Why? Wouldn't it well, be? what if sparks flew off yeah. and then? That's what set I was fire. always told. Was oh, always really? Put out in a haggard, oh. away from the house. It's well, still my clever day, then, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, you've done all right, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you can't say that. Oh, really stop me. <laughs> oh, well, I've never seen that before. And I haven't. So oh, fair, I love it. To you. What else are we going to look at here then? Let's have a look at that over there. That. I haven't, I mean, I've seen that before. I don't know what that's about. I tell you what, that would be. That's the corn drying kiln. That's just what I was going to say. Because it's right stealing next... my shine. Oh, well, good girl. Because it's right next to where? The mill is. The mill is. Yep. <laughs> nice tattoo again, girl. Uh-huh. Looking at my behind, uh, would it be in there? I mean, yeah, that reminds me of a can, really. Yeah, be, yeah, that would be it. As you said, it's right next to where they would have done the thrashing. Wow, I'll try and find a picture on the web of what a corn drying kill looks like so we know, know what we're talking about. But I reckon that is it. I mm. really do. 
And again, I've been up a few times. I often wondered about that, but I didn't know there was a corn drying kiln here until now. Well, there we go. It makes me happy when we find things. Yeah, me as well, girl. I wasn't overly bothered about coming out today, to be fair. I was thinking, oh, I can't be bothered today. I was hoping you were going to change your mind. Yeah, I was thinking, I'll tell her we'll do it tomorrow, and then she won't. You <laughs> won't miss my day off tomorrow from you. Pe Penny! So there's a little scenic view. Hang on a minute, I'll stand up on top of the corn drying, corn drying kiln. Get a better view of the countryside. So. Oh, lovely. Nice reservoir over that. Yeah. We'll Ow, Roxy. So on the hillside on the left there, you just can't see it as Cramick Farm. Then we come round to the Druidale Reservoir. The farm below is called Druidale Farm, obviously. And up in those trees there to the right, as the Forester's Lodge should have been, but it's been knocked down. There's another one called the Crate, just over the hill. And then we come back to our original place, the Corridy. Then in the distance there is um, the Craggans. And behind the Craggans up there on the hillside is Salty Will Farm. Oh, well, there's another one there. Been there ages ago. And when you come and visit these little places, never be in a rush. I'm never in a rush. Quite often I come to these places, you feel, you feel they're busy. You feel the spirit of the place. Quite often when I come to these little places, you get the feeling that there's a spirit with you, or people are here with you. They're never empty. And a few photographs I've taken, I've had what they have an orb on them. Do you know what I mean by an orb? Yeah. Do you? Um, there's always a rational explanation why it's there. It's a reflection of your lens or something, or something's glinted, but I, sometimes you can't always give a reason. One of the photographs I took here many years ago had this orb on it. And me being a bit of an old romantic would tend to say that it would be true. The spirit world does like to be retained, remembered. 